Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about installing the piston rings on my 1600 GT engine. I'm going to put a bit of engine oil on the inside of the liner. Um, when I first start the engine I don't want it to be dry because that could damage the piston rings and the liner. It'll also help a little bit with assembly. It'll help the piston slide into the bore much smoother. So the pack has uh, four barrels of cylinders, uh, four pistons, uh, a set of oil scrapers and a set of piston rings. The oil scrapers are the first part to go on. They're in three parts and they're the biggest piston ring. Um, basically their job is to keep the oil inside the engine and not in the cylinder. You install the centre part first which is the wide sort of corrugated part and you install a flat ring on either side of it. There is an arrow on the top of the piston which shows which direction it should be facing. They are offset slightly, so we want the arrow to be pointing towards the flywheel. Bearing that in mind, I want the gap in the piston rings to be pointing towards the top of the engine, because that's where the least amount of oil is going to be. There is a gap in the compression rings, which are the next two rings, and I want to check this before I put them on the cylinder. So I'm going to put the ring into the cylinder, and I'm going to use the top of the piston to make sure it's lying evenly all the way around. I can then use a feeler gauge to check the gap and I will know whether I need to take a bit off because they can sometimes be slightly oversized. So it's a 12 thou or a 0.3 mil gap and there should just be a tiny bit of drag on the feeler gauge when I run it through. As I said there's two piston compression rings I'm going to check both of them. Sometimes they can be slightly oversized and need filing down a little bit, but usually they're pretty much spot on. These ones are absolutely fine and didn't need any filing. I'm going to install the first piston ring the same way I installed the oil scraper by feeding it on from one end and working it around. Um, on a conventional engine, the gap in the piston rings you would want to be 120 degrees apart. Um, so the first one would be at zero degrees, the next one 120, and then 240. On an air-cooled engine, I tend to find that I get better results by putting the oil scraper at the very top and then setting the two compression rings. 180 degrees apart and 90 degrees from the oil scraper so the gap in the oil ring would be at the top and the gaps in the compression rings would be at opposite end of the cylinders so one front pointing towards the front and one pointing towards the back i'm using a piston ring compressor to to install the cylinder it just helps it slide in a lot easier i've i've used screwdrivers to do this in the past but this is far quicker I just use the back end of a hammer to really gently tap it in. I've also oiled the inside of the, comp the piston ring compressor to make it slide in a little bit smoother. The cylinder goes in from the back end, it's got a slight beveled edge which makes it slide in. And it's, it's really that easy. The kit also comes with new gudgeon pins and gudgeon pin clips. Um, I'm going to install one of the gudgeon pin clips. Um, as a sort of bump stop so when I put the good jump pin in it will stop at that point. I'm going to finish it up just by putting the good jump pin in the opposite side to where I put the clip uh, ready to put it into the, into the conrod.